for the TV to actually work, we would first need to optimize the mesh if you haven't done already, because let's open the original one up. It has a lot of triangles and you don't really need that much. Also, it has three different materials. We just need two of them because one is just this little uh, Unreal logo here. You won't see it in the quest, so you can just get rid of it and you would gain some performance there. So I exported it and reduce the mesh. This is uh, not perfect at all, but we are down to 5000 polygons. So in this case, yeah, this actually there's a lot of uh, room for improvement here, but it's better than the original one. And it only has two materials. So one for the complete mesh and one for the screen itself. Also the Let's have a look at the light map. Yeah, there's room for improvement there. So I don't need this UV set, so I can delete the current UV set. And let's go to the light map one and let's pack it. So that's better. Actually, let's, let's get rid of these here. Yeah, I don't think they make a lot of problems here. We can go in there and fix them if we want. But the important thing is, let's open up the UV zero. So this is the one where the actual texture will be applied. And it's very important that the screen here will fit into the zero to one space. So you can see it's completely zero to one here. And this is important because we have a zero to one texture we apply to the screen. And this way we don't get any uh, distortions there. So make sure if you want to make, uh, if you want to use this screen here, that you apply a planar mapping and yeah, lay it out in the zero to one space. So let's export it. And import it back to Unreal. Let's reset it to the FBX. And you can see now we have the new TV, only 5000 triangles here. And we have our two materials, one for everything else here and the other one for the actual screen. So let's use our maybe steel, steel dark for those things. And here I want to use this, um, this video material. The fastest way to get the TV working is to duplicate the one we have already provided in our example project. Of course, you can create it from scratch with uh, the different components, but we already created a TV for you, so we will use that here. You can find it into our experience folder. There's this demo space folder with example objects you can use, and there's also a TV in there. So let's open this up. And if you want to make changes to it, I would um, advise you to duplicate it. So you can later on just delete this complete experience folder because there are only this example, bro uh, example objects in there. So let's actually go in there and duplicate the TV into our blueprints folder. And we want to copy here. So BP TV tutorial. And let's open this one up. And you can see there's already all the logic we need in there. And we only need to modify one thing because the component highlight is set to the post process. And we also want to set it to our mesh. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let's, let's change quite another thing. Um, the 
we have our component gaze view in there. So this is the one where you have a triggered process. So a trigger goes up and once it's full, it is triggering something. And in this case, we can trigger directly the play button. So the BP selection play. And we don't want to use the component grab because I don't want the TV to be um, picked up by the user. So we can delete the component grab. Also, I don't want to have the highlighting effect. I just want uh, to hover over it and it so should start playing. So I remove the highlighting effect for this one here. I don't want to have the component select or the component trigger. So actually we would only need the component gaze view. There's the selection play. And we need to change the actual mesh. This TV is set up with a screen. So we don't need that because we put this material directly onto our TV. So first of all, let's add our TV in here. So it should be this one here. And let's reposition it. Also, we don't really need to have this connector surface and the arrow, so we can also delete this. Don't need the arrow in there. So we just have our static mesh from the TV, our component gaze view, and the plane we don't need. We just need this material here for the actual screen. So let's select the material, select our TV and put it here onto our screen material. And then we can go in there and delete the plane itself and hit compile. And let's try to see what is already working. So, so let's replace this actor here. You can actually see that the video is appearing here. And if I hit play, this gaze view appears, but it's not triggering anything. So actually, I want to change this behavior a little bit. I want to have not the trigger with progress, but the selection button. And for the selection button, I want to have this play button. Let's compile and test it out. So now if I hit play and I am watching over the TV, you can see the uh, play button is appearing right at the destination where the component is. So if we want to have this on another place, we can change the actual position of this component, maybe something like here. Hit compile and try it out. So now you can see it's on the top right and uh, the bottom right corner. And if I hit play, the video is actually playing. If I hit pause, the video is paused. So we already set up the TV in like two minutes. But there are some things we need to adjust. You can also see I did uh, not a good job because the video is on everything here. I need to adjust this later on. But the video itself and the TV is working. Let's check that it is static because we don't want to move it. And let's hit compile. And in order for it to work properly on the quest, you would need to go into your project settings and type in additional assets. And under additional non-asset directories, this one here, we have to add the folder where the actual movie file is located. So let's have a look. In our case, it's under AVR framework movies. And let, let's add this folder. So let's double check. And here's the source of our material, this MP4 um, 
file. And if you don't do this, the actual movie will not be copied over to the quest and you will just get a blank screen when you try to play the video. So it's very important you edit in here. And this is actually everything you need to do. If you want to have sound, we can go in there and add one last thing, the media sound component. And let's select the, the same media source. That's this one here. And just double check that this is the same. RV TV screen, RV TV screen. And this is our actual video here. So this looks good. If I hit compile now and play, you can see at the beginning, we just have our logo in there. If we hover over it or with the quest, if we have a look over the TV, the button is appearing. And if we hit play, the video is playing and you can also hear the sound of the video in the quest. So this was a fast tutorial because we used a TV that already had all the logic in there. And if you want to know how this is working, just have a look inside of here. It's basically, it has the interface active and the interface listen to trigger. And if you will hit the play button, it just triggers this, this toggle, which uh, triggers the set active. And if it's set active, it just plays or pauses the video. So it's a simple logic in there but it's very straightforward and together with the media sound, you have a nice working TV for your scene in there.